Hello, I'm Mr Gilmore, Faculty Head of Social Subjects at Holyrood Secondary School. I'm going to take you through a short presentation today on each of the three social subjects available to young people in S4, Modern Studies, Geography and History. In S4, pupils will be expected to select at least one social subject. However, the skills covered in one class are transferable to others. So if your child particularly enjoys this area of study, they're of course able to choose more with their free choices. If your child has any questions or issues that they want to bring up regarding this options process, they can speak to their class teacher during the allotted digital learning time on a Tuesday afternoon, or they can email their class teacher or me directly. Hope you enjoy the presentations. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm going to take you through the S4 Geography course at Holyrood Secondary. This first slide indicates the type of young people who we believe would find this course interesting and enjoyable. It's not just maps, rather looking to understand both the physical world and the interactions between people all across the planet. Geography has three broad areas of study in S4, physical, human and global issues. Geography is unique in that it's classed as both a science and an art subject at university and college. Physical geography is the study of the world around us. Three examples of areas that are studied are the formation of upland glaciated areas, the formation of limestone features and the formation of coastal features. The numeracy part of physical geography is developed by the study of weather in the UK. Pupils will be expected to interpret weather charts like the one shown on the left. Human geography focuses on the development of cities in both the developing world and the developed world. Rural landscapes in both these areas are focused on too. Numeracy in human geography is developed by analysing population growth and change in a variety of countries using charts like the one shown on the screen. In both physical and human geography, pupils will learn how to read ordnance survey maps and graphs. Interpreting info from here and these sources is a key part of being a success. Two global issues are also studied. The first is health, which examines the causes and solutions to two problems. In the developing world, malaria, and in, in the developed world, heart disease. The other global issue is climate change, where the causes are investigated along with strategies to reduce the threat. Geographers are organised and able to complete complex tasks based on written and numerical sources. Geography develops a lot of transferable skills into other subject areas. Progression is often into higher for pupils who are successful in National 5 and S4. For those who achieve National 4, they can go on to study National 5 in the senior phase. Being both a science and an art means that geography opens a wide range of careers for pupils. In this presentation, I'm going to take you through the S4 History course at Holyrood Secondary. History is a dynamic subject and at National 5 level is the fourth most popular in Scotland. In S4, it's split into three broad areas of study. The first one pupils will encounter is Scottish history. This is where pupils will look at the Great War of 1914 to 1918. It has a particular emphasis on the Scottish perspective and will build upon learning pupils have already taken part in in S3. For example, they've already looked at the soldiers' experience on the Western Front, particularly from the Scottish perspective, and they've also looked at life and hardship on the Home Front. Moving into S4, pupils will look at industrial changes in Scotland, with an emphasis on the role of women, and they'll also look at the political impact the Great War had, and this is where we have an emphasis on the Greater Glasgow area. The next topic pupils will look at, and this will be new to them in S4, is British history. And the topic they'll look at is the making of modern Britain, which is where they will evaluate the growth of the welfare state over the first half of the 20th century. Initially, by looking at the causes of 19th century poverty and the reasons why attitudes towards helping the poor changed, then looking at the success and limitations of the liberal reforms, before switching to look at the impact that the Second World War had on the people on the home front, and then finally, an evaluation of the post-war Labour government's attempts to tackle the five giants of poverty in the years up to 1951. The final topic pupils will look at is world history, and that's where they will look at Germany from 1919 to 1939. Initially, they'll look at the post-war difficulties faced by the democratic Weimar Republic, such as the hyperinflation crisis of 1923. 
Then look at how the Nazis used these problems to gain control in 1933. Before looking at the Nazi state's fear and terror methods that they used to maintain control and silence opposition, with particular emphasis on the treatment of Jews and other ethnic minorities. Before finally looking at the success of both the Nazi youth movements and the economic growth in the years up to 1939. S4 history, pupils will be assessed based on knowledge and understanding, so being able to remember stuff that they have covered in class, but also they will build source skills, and this is particularly important in terms of transferable skills to other parts of their curriculum they'll be looking at. Pupils will look to evaluate information from the past and being able to give their own opinion on that. This highlights the fact that history is a subject which is particularly engaged with literacy, and that opens up a huge number of doors for pupils once they leave school, particularly for careers or studies based on the arts and law. In this presentation, I will take you through the S4 Modern Studies course at Holyrood Secondary School. Modern Studies is a subject which is unique to Scottish education and draws on both political and sociological themes. It's a course designed to develop citizenship in amongst the young people who take it as they gain a working knowledge of how to participate in society. It is split into three separate units of study. The first of these is democracy. Pupils will look at democracy in the UK and study features of the UK political society, including the role of the Prime Minister, methods of participation and the important role that pressure groups have in holding the government to account. The next unit that we look at is social issues, and at Holyrood, the social issues we cover is crime and law. Many pupils find this the most interesting part of the course, especially those who are considering a career in law once they leave school. There are two elements to this part of the course. The first is looking at crime, and in particular causes of crime, such as economic, biological and sociological reasons. Then we look at the consequences that crime has on various people in society. The law element looks at the criminal justice system. Pupils will investigate the roles and effectiveness of the courts, the police and the prison service. The last element of S4 Modern Studies reinforces work that pupils have done in S3, and that's looking at a world power, in this case the USA. In S3, pupils will have looked to assess the global influence the USA has in economic strength, military power and cultural exports on the rest of the world, and they will have investigated why one of the richest countries in the world has one of the highest levels of inequality between rich and poor. In S4, the emphasis will be on reinforcing points regarding the American political system, including its relationship between different branches of government, levels of participation, and the role of ethnic minorities, in particular why they appear to be underrepresented. The skills that pupils will develop in S4 Firstly, they will develop their literacy skills from knowledge and understanding questions, where they will answer questions based on content covered in class, but also they will develop their numeracy skills, and that's interpreted from numerous sources of data where pupils must reach conclusions, justify points of view, and look to identify where individuals have been selective in their use of facts. For progression in modern studies, pupils achieving N5 in S4, we would expect to go on to do higher, Pupils achieving N4 and S4 have the option to be able to study N5 in the senior phase. Modern Studies also, and uniquely for Holyrood, offers an opportunity to go and study sociology or higher politics in S6. For pupils who are keenly interested already in social subjects and think that's something that they might study when they leave school, Modern Studies offers an excellent path into studying these subjects, which again offer a path into um, further education once they've left school.